If you've worked with jQuery, a library that's gotten something of a tarnished reputation recently but which helped an awful lot of people, including me, get their start with JavaScript, you've probably used its chained methods many times over. For example, something that looks like this. You don't need a third-party library to allow that kind of method chaining. You just have to plan for it in your object constructors. Today we're going to learn how to easily do that. We talked about constructors back in JS Quick Hits 22 in case you need a refresher. They're just functions that you can use to generate new objects with default properties, methods, and the like. Here's one. Those slash ends, by the way, just add new lines in the console. We're also using template literals, which is from JS Quick Hits 7, and a ternary operator, which is from JS Quick Hits 9, just to keep things clean. Anyway, let's use our constructor and its methods without any chaining, like this. Save that and give it a shot. And we get what's expected, two nice lines of text. Let's take a look at what happens if we try to chain our methods, though. Nope. That's giving us a big old type error, and for good reason. Our greet method returns a string. That string would have access to JavaScript's built-in string methods, like to uppercase, but it's not going to have the describe method because that method exists on our constructor. In order to access methods in succession, each method needs to return the entire object, accessed with the this keyword. Here's how to write a better, chainable constructor. Because our greet and describe methods are now returning the entire object instead of a string, we can continue to access methods. Of course, we need to have a print method that actually returns our string. By the way, I know arrow functions are still confusing for a lot of folks, so if you need a refresher, check out JS Quick Hits 12 and JS Quick Hits 13. Anyway, let's check out our now fully operational chaining with this code. Save that. Nope, we're going to have to comment out Tessa or we'll just be erroring. Save that too. There we go. Cool. We also don't have to use the chain in that exact order, though this code is going to produce a result that's a little odd. So that's a little weird. You normally greet the dog first, but okay. One caveat, of course, is that you can't chain a method if it doesn't return this. So, for example, we can't stick our print method into the middle of the chain. It'll just give the same type error as we got in our Tessa example. Observe. Save that. And welcome back, type error. The reason for this is, again, print is returning a string, not this. So there you have it. A basic introduction to chaining using object constructors. Go forth and chain away, preferably with something a little more useful, although perhaps less gratifying depending on your preferences, than greeting dogs. See you next week!